Are you curious the top five places to visit when you come to Naples, Florida? Well, I've got those for you here. Stick around and wait till the end. I've got a bonus tip. Hi, I'm John C. here in sunny Southwest Florida. Let me tell you the five most popular places that I think you should visit when you come to Naples. Number five is popularly numbered because it is Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue is a stretch of about a mile of shops in the downtown area. It's beautiful, but make sure you bring your wallet if you want to do some shopping. There's plenty of boutiques there to visit. There are some amazing restaurants, coffee shops, ice cream parlors. It is just a beautiful place to get out, park on one side, walk to the other side, and then walk back. If you start from Tamiami Trail and make that one mile walk, then you'll be on the beach. It is beautiful. That's number five. Number four place to visit is a place I love to take my wife and kids. We've been there numerous times and that is the Naples Zoo. It's also on Tamiami Trail close to the Coastland Mall and it is amazing. Even though it's not going to be one of your largest zoos that you've ever visited in the, in the United States, it's still a great size. Make sure you have your walking shoes on because you will enjoy your walk throughout the entire park. You can usually cover the entire park in about three to four hours. Make sure to take the boat trolley, I would call it. Maybe it's more like just a boat tour around the Monkey Islands. It's really cool. If you like lions, we have some wonderful lions in the zoo as well too. Hyenas, zebras, elephants, feed the giraffes. It's just a great place to visit. Sometimes you can save a little bit of money if you buy your tickets online. And then also a little secret of Collier, uh, the zoo there in Collier, is that if you are a local resident in the county, the first Saturday of every month is free to you. Just bring your ID. Number three, Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary. Now, it sounds wet and muddy and gross, and yes, part of it is, but they have a trail that you can walk on. Some of it is actually elevated. It's a boardwalk. It is amazing. Now, I probably wouldn't suggest going there during the months of June, July, August, and September, but in your cooler months here from October all the way through April, it is a great place to visit. With over 10,000 acres of natural preserve, you are going to see some wildlife. If you are afraid of alligators, well, this may not be the place for you. There are alligators throughout that area. When I've been there with my family, I've seen snakes swimming through some of the water under the boardwalk. The birds are amazing. Go in the morning to catch those. It is just a beautiful place to visit. The cost is very inexpensive and you can go and stay there all day on many of the hikes that are self-guided throughout that park. Number two, the Botanical Gardens of Naples. This is a beautiful 100 acre area with over 1,000 plant species for you to visit. If you like orchids, they have a beautiful orchid area. A lot of flowering plants in there as well too. If you want to go on a guided tour by someone who works there, I believe they're currently offering those basically in season, which would be from the months of November to April. So if you wanna go during that time, again, the weather is a little cooler during those months. You can actually have a guided tour around the park. It is a beautiful place to visit. My suggestion to you is bring a sack lunch or a bag lunch and enjoy their picnic area. It is peaceful. Number one place to visit here in Naples, Florida, and that is the pier. It is probably the most photographed place here in the entire county and it is spectacular. The Naples Pier stretches out about a thousand feet into the Gulf of Mexico. There's places that you can park and walk one to two blocks to get to the pier. Very easy to access. Make sure that if you are going to visit, you go during sunset. It is spectacular. You will God, you will be there with a crowd of hundreds of people on the pier enjoying God's beautiful creation, watching the sun set over the Gulf of Mexico. It is amazing. So go visit there if you have a moment. It is number one on the Naples top five things to do. 
I told you I'd give you a bonus tip and here's what it is, Delanor Wiggins State Park. This is a beautiful 150 acre state park on the north part of Naples. It's very secluded. So if you like beach to yourself, you'll love this state park. It's an, I think they charge $8 per car to get into the park and you can stay there all day. It is gorgeous. Bring your umbrella, bring your food, bring your drinks with you. Enjoy a family day on one of Naples beautiful beaches. And to me, it's a little bit of a bonus hidden tip that not pe many people know about. Thanks for watching this video. I'm John C. here in sunny Southwest Florida. And if you want more information on this beautiful area, just continue to watch here on the next video.